Welcome to the virtual celebration for the class of 2020. I am Dr. Renee C. Mortimer, Principal of St. Thomas More School. This presentation will comprise two very important components. The Liturgy of the Word, inspirational messages from some very familiar faces. The 2019-2020 academic year started off on a high note. Father Junior blessed our entire school family as parents and teachers formed a hedge of protection around you. Our school gave back goods and monetary donations to assist the Hurricane Dorian relief efforts. Our system celebrated 130 years of Catholic education in the Bahamas. Our students enjoy the activities of Catholic Schools Week. We gave back the canned goods and non-perishable items from our Thanksgiving service to charitable organizations and collected thousands of cans for the organization Cans for Kids. We were on a roll. COVID-19 came to our shores and altered our entire world but you did not let it alter your determination or your spirit. It was a difficult set of circumstances and you persevered. You finished the race in grand style. COVID-19 should inspire all of us to respect the work of teachers, appreciate the love and support of family, embrace any obstacles that come in your path. You did it. I am truly proud of your accomplishments. You did it. Your parents and loved ones are truly proud of you. The profile of the Bahamas Catholic Board of Education graduate states, you must be a Christian leader who is a person of integrity and spiritual growth and light the way. You must stay focused and light the way. You must become community builders and light the way. You must excel academically and light the way. You must become centered, well-rounded students and light the way. You must become loving persons, kind, forgiving, and welcoming and light the way. You must become lifelong learners, creative, problem solvers, open-minded, critical thinkers, and light the way. You must become healthy persons, practicing good health habits, respectful to life and individuals, and light the way. You must become environmentally conscious persons, a protector of the environment, and light the way. You must become familiar with saving your money, working towards a goal, and light the way. St. Thomas More School has given you all of the necessary tools to succeed in high school. Go light your world sparks, stir up the gifts within. You enter to be challenged, now exit to be of service. Let the celebration begin.
Let us pray. God of wisdom, we thank you for all the gifts you have given us throughout this school year. We praise you for giving us life, for saving us in Christ, and for choosing us to be your people. As we come to the end of this school year, we voice our gratitude for the good things you have done in us, and we praise you for all you have shared in the work of this school. We ask you to bless the students in your love, with your love, and, and give them refreshment and peace. We praise you, God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the Lord God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father, and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did. As I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day, for this reason I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have to the position of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of the power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel, for the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design, and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began. But now may it manifest to the appearance of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to the light through the gospel. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle and teacher. On this account I am suffering these things, but I am not ashamed, for I know him in whom I believe, and I am confident that he is able to God, what has been entrusted to me until that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the second brother 
marrying her and died, leaving your descent, and the third likewise. And the servant left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled? Because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses and the passage about the bush? How God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are good people, sir. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's now take a moment of silence as we reflect on the Word of God. Let us now offer our petitions and prayers as we end our school year. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the COVID-19 pandemic across the world and for all countries as they begin to transition to a new normal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and her leaders, that she may always be a source of truth, peace, and love, especially during these difficult times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our St. Thomas More School family, that though through these unprecedented times we may continue to grow in love, we may continue to grow in love for and solidarity with one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In Thanksgiving, for those who have helped our graduates achieve excellence, for all parents, guardians, relatives, teachers, school staff, and clergy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the graduating class of 2020 and all our future endeavors, that we may always remember the values and lessons given to us at St. Thomas More School, and that we may now truly exit to be of service to our communities and to our nation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for calling us to serve our Catholic school community. And we give you thanks for your gracious love that has guided us to pour out our gifts in service to one another through Catholic education. We ask you to help us with thy grace to continue to be a supportive presence to our school in the service of your son's gospel. Make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And all that God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go now in peace of Christ to use the gifts God has given us to love and serve one another in the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear students, the custom is for us to have a joyful celebration of the Exodus Mass here in our cathedral. Unfortunately, the current pandemic of novel coronavirus COVID-19 has rendered such gatherings too risky and a danger to public health. Still, this is a very special, important, and joyful time for you and for your parents and for all your family and friends. I take this occasion, despite all the distractions which surround us, to focus on what is most important. I wish to congratulate you students, your teachers and administrators, and all those who have supported, assisted, and encouraged you to attain this achievement in your academic life. May your future plans be built on this firm foundation of your primary education. May you have success as you now move on to continuing your education in high school. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear class of 2020 from our primary schools, 2020 will be documented in the history books as one of the most remembered years of the 21st century. The matriculation exercise of the class of 2020, I believe, will be the most remembered event of the decade. When you entered primary school, you never expected that your final year would begin or end with two great phenomena, Hurricane Dorian and the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Both of these tragedies separated you from your physical campus 
and the friends you grew to love, and also required that you transition to a different way of learning. You adjusted fairly well. The mission of the Catholic Board of Education states that education is more than information and facts. It is a process of learning and formation. It also involves a way of acting. The behavior exhibited during your physical time away from your learning institutions is evidence that our undertakings have been realized. The lessons learned have been many. However, I dare to state that the most powerful message learned is that we serve an awesome God who never fails. This unfailing God has given you all that you need to begin and end the next phase of your journey. He provided you with a loving family to nourish and treasure you, dedicated administrators, faculty, and staff who helped to mold you, and a faith-filled community to sustain you. Your next step will be the beginning of a beautiful legacy. The triumphant stories that you share will be an inspiration to all. Use what you have acquired from your family, school, and worship communities to do all the good you can in all the ways you can for as long as you can. Remember, you are exiting from a system with a faith-filled past and a hopeful future. I am confident that you shall succeed and your future will be filled with many exciting opportunities. Embrace them all. Congratulations, class of 2020. May God bless you abundantly. My dear graduates, your world has been turned upside down. All that has happened and continues to happen is unimaginable. Despite all the madness, stay focused on you, your growth, your experiences, and your achievements. You are the social media generation. That's okay but use it wisely. Don't be misled or distracted from the truth. Do what is right and what matters to you most. And in the words of St. Paul, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 11. Graduation or exodus as we refer to it, simply marks your passageway to high school. With all the challenges due to COVID-19, your normal life has been changed. The economics of your life have been altered and the reality of your place in this world has been affected. Despite all this, some of you are already making your mark through hard work, entrepreneurship, and a desire for greatness. Continue to develop lasting values like respect, and responsibility. Care for each other and shape your world to be different. Finally, graduates, uphold the teachings of St. Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Respect authority. Admonish the unruly. Remain at peace with one another. Support the weak. Be patient toward all. Always seek the good of all. Rejoice always. Never cease to pray. And finally, always remember to give thanks. For in so doing, you will stir up the gifts within you and be a beacon of hope and change to your new world. May the God of peace be with you on your journey, graduates. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. That is a quote 
coined by B.B. King. It is hard to believe how rapidly this academic year of 2019-2020 passes by. All of you have completed the first tier of your scholastic journey. Your primary school years have been filled with accomplishments, personal growth, and some challenges. But I have no doubt that all of you will continue to strive for excellence as you exit primary school to begin your high school education. This academic year is one for the history books and it will always be embedded in your minds. Class of 2020, you are an exceptional class. You are a group of students who demonstrated the importance making the best of a situation that you had no control over. Class of 2020, you charted the tides of virtual learning and you navigated well. None of us was prepared for the global pandemic. The coronavirus which shifted the way we live and the way we learn. But grade six, you prove that you are shifters and you achieve great accomplishments. During the shift, remember all of you gain something very important and something powerful, that you were tested and you did not falter. You kept going. You are shifters. As we part, please remember the watchwords we shared during our time together. Strive to be the best you can be and always believe that you are filled with the talents, the ability, and the potential to be the most successful person God created you to be. I feel confident that you are ready for what lies ahead because you are the great class of 2020 and you did not give up. You are the shifters. As we exit the halls of our schools, remember, walk confidently and always embrace the shift. I leave this quote with you and I say, nothing, anything happens because of us. And that was written by Sandy Sandberg. Class of 2020, I am so proud of you. Congratulations, celebrate yourself, and I leave you with all the best wishes that I have. Class of 2020, excel wherever you go. To my wonderful students, one of the most rewarding aspects of being a teacher has been watching you all grow over the course of the year. You have all blossomed into the most amazing young scholars and we are all so proud of you. Letters and sounds soon became words that invited you into the world of reading and writing, giving you strong voices to express yourselves. You grew as individuals too exploring your independence and what it means to be a kind and caring student, classmate, and friend. The year has come and gone so quickly. I cannot believe that this is the end and it is already here. I am so excited for your futures and I wish nothing but the very best in the years to come. As you venture off, I hope that you all will take with you what you have learned at St. Thomas More and apply it to your schoolwork, your friendships, and any other situation that you may encounter. Remember to always work hard and never give up. Congratulations on your accomplishments and best wishes for all to come. Jeremiah chapter 29, 
verse 11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. The graduating class of 2020 truly has a story to tell. It is a tale wrought with great expectations, curiosity, cataclysmic events, derailment, determination, strength, curveballs, and perseverance. Never before in modern history have graduating classes worldwide simultaneously experienced such a wonder. No doubt, you were eagerly awaiting your time to shine and were anxious to experience all of the pageantry that signifies that you have successfully made it to the end of your primary school experience. Many of you have worked very hard this year and knowingly put away the habits and behaviors that kept you from being your best self. You applied yourself and you were determined to give your best especially in classes that presented a challenge. I saw your determination. I saw your resilience. I saw your struggles as you encountered trials and tribulations. And I saw the courage that you showed to overcome them. I am confident that this pandemic will not define this class's aptitude. Many of you have expressed that you have been given an opportunity to pause and truly contemplate the world and your place in it. This season will propel you into a future with greater ambition, clarity, passion, imagination, and a hunger to succeed. You have been chosen to usher in a new era. For instance, you are the only class who can boast that you are the pioneers of educational reconstruction and participated in the global launch of the virtual classroom. The story about how COVID-19 changed your exodus from primary school belongs to only you. The future is yours. Step into it boldly, embrace it, and make the most of it. I wish all of you Godspeed and all of the successes that life has in store for you. Chosen generation We've been called for to show his excellence hey. All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am We are a chosen generation We've been called for to show his excellence hey. All I require for life God has given me, for I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am, where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am, where He says I'm at. I know who I am. I work in power. I work in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am I'm working in power I'm working miracles I live a life of favor For I know who I am Chosen generation, we've been called for to show his excellence. Hey, all I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. We are, we are a chosen generation. We've been called for to show his excellence. All I require, all I require for life. God has given me I know who I know, I am I know, I know who God says I am What He says I am Where He says I'm at I know 
who I am I know who God says I am What He says I am Where He says I'm at I know who I am I'm working out